you guys doing? Feeling good? Good day? <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm having a good goddamn day today. Where to begin? Where to begin? Hmm. And if you guys are wondering, yes, this shit eating grin is gonna be in like 80% of the video, so you might as well get used to it now. Hey, you know what? Before I start talking my shit and before I start talking about this monumental moment in DC history, I need something to complete this video. I, I feel naked without it, so just, just give me a second. I have to have the damn Superman cape for a video this big. Okay, so in case you haven't heard, in case you've been sleeping under a rock or you don't follow the news, let me fill you in. The Snyder Cut, the fabled mythical Snyder Cut, as everyone else kept calling it for all these years, is finally a reality. The Snyder Cut was announced on the Man of Steel live stream on Vero yesterday by Zack Snyder and Henry Cavill, who we did not know was going to join in on that. What do I mean by the Snyder Cut is a reality? Well, the Snyder Cut, aka Zack Snyder's Justice League, Zack Snyder's original vision that he intended for his Justice League movie, we get to see that shit now. Comes out in 2021 on HBO. HBO Max. Before I dive into all of that, let me just single out the fans, man. They, they, let me just single out the awesome fans, okay? Not the toxic fans that gave us a bad name. Let's be real, guys. There are toxic fans in every single fandom, okay? Every fandom has its nuts and its squirrels and its bolts and its screws. And where the hell am I going with this? I don't know what analogy I'm trying to make, but uh, just, yeah, just, Toxic fans. Day one fans that fought for this, that believed in this, that had to endure three plus years of people telling them they were crazy, delusional, or saying that it was never gonna happen. Who cares? It's not like, move on. Like people, so many people told us to move on, move on, move on. By the way, this is not just to see what we wanna see, because obviously we want a better Justice League movie than the movie that we were given. What we actually want is we want Zack Snyder's original vision to be respected, to be seen the way that it was intended to be. That's what we want. This is a win for artistic expression and artistic freedom everywhere. We did the impossible. We started a movement and we made AT&T hear us like basically if you guys remember November 17th 2019 you remember that's the day where we all came together and we got released the Snyder Cut trending if you read the articles that confirm the story the day after that Toby Emmerich the uh, CEO or chairman or whatever of, of Warner Brothers basically reached out to Zach and he was like yo so is this real and do you want to do this even Zack Snyder acknowledged in his statement yesterday that a lot of this would not be happening if it weren't for the fans so I just wanted to give a shout out to all of those amazing people, all the people like me who have been fighting for this cut and riding for it for the longest. Now when it comes to everybody else, I got some shit to say. I have got some shit to say. Like people say you got to get shit off your chest. I got to get shit off my chest, out my vocal cords, my throat, my esophagus, my diaphragm, my elbows, my knees, my toes, my dick. I got to get stuff off of everywhere. I got this shit pouring out of me, okay? This is a whole ass mood. I have been in a shit talking mood since yesterday, and no, don't tell me that I don't deserve the right to talk my shit. I was gonna be classy, and I was just gonna, you know, focus on taking the dub and turning the other way. But nah, you know what? Zach and the rest of those people have endured enough abuse for all of these years. Far worse abuse than I could ever get, you know, arguing with trolls on Twitter. Let them be classy. Let them take the high road. Me? I ain't turning the other cheek no more. And if I do turn the other cheek, it's so that I can give you a roundhouse kick in your cheek. All you motherfuckers that said we were delusional, that said it would never come out, that said we were fighting an impossible uphill losing battle. Y'all talk shit on us for so many years. You got so many people that acted like they had inside sources. And acting like they was close to the situation, acting like they knew what the hell was going on, acting like, hey, hey, I talked to my people and they said there is no Snyder Cut. It's not done. It's not finished. By the way, if you're arguing semantics today, get, shut, shut up. Just shut up. Shut, shut the hell up. A lot of people getting on their soapbox today talking about some, oh, well, clearly if he needs 20 to 30 million dollars, then obviously it's not finished, which means we were kind of right. There was no finished version of the Snyder Cut. Shit. Shut the entire hell up and eat a bag of them, okay? Stop arguing semantics. Only reason you're doing this now is because you got proven wrong and you're trying to backpedal like a corner in the NFL, okay? You backpedal and that's all you're doing. You ain't actually doing nothing. You ain't proving shit. Snyder already screened his full cut for the AT&T executives back in February or January or whatever. He already has a full version of his movie. He showed it to them. They liked it. 20 to 30 million is number one to keep people paid during this coronavirus thing. People that 
work on production, people that work on visual effects and stuff. This is to give them money so that they can get paid. It's also money so that Snyder can add stuff. This is all about adding stuff that he didn't get to film for his version of the movie. This is new stuff. They even said it in the headline that confirms the story. It's new. It's going to be new stuff and it's going to be in like a four hour long super cut or it's going to be in a six episode miniseries or something. All you people just arguing semantics and trying to talk shit down to us the day after, all you are is a dog chasing a car or a dog chasing its own tail. That's right. You're chasing your own ass and I'm not going to let you get away with it. When it comes to the Snyder Cut, when it comes to the fans, I hope you suck and swallow, okay? Because that's what y'all going to be doing. If you want to get mad, <laughs> be mad all you want, okay? Lose your damn mind over it. Throw a temper tantrum. Make a video complaining about it. Do whatever the hell you want to do. Hell, I give you till 2021. You got till 2021 to be mad, okay? Be big mad. Be the biggest mad that you ever can. It does not matter. It ain't going to change shit. So keep doing your thing, okay? And for the people that are kind of like, well, it's probably not even going to be good. So, nigga? So what? Who cares? What are you talking about? Why is my voice getting higher? It's probably because I'm ranting right now and I'm not keeping control of my decibel level. Let me woo for a second. Live your life. You told us to move on. I am telling you, move on. If you don't like it, if you ain't interested in it, if you ain't excited to see Snyder, move on, okay? Move on, bitch. You know what that ludicrous song? Move, bitch, get out the way. Move, bitch, go on your way. Move, bitch, go on your way. That's what I got to say to you. Move on. You told us to move on, you move on, okay? This ain't got nothing to do with you. It don't matter if it's good or whatever. We want to see it, okay? We want to see it for all the reasons that I already outlined. Okay, so you spreading your negativity talking about some oh, well, maybe it's not good or whatever Okay, well, maybe it's not for you now, a lot of people who dumped on people who believed in the Snyder Cut Now all of a sudden they're trying to act like oh, well, I always wanted to see it and I always believed in it or oh Hey, I reported this and this is accurate like shut shut up man shut up shut shut the, shut the, sh shut up shut up shut the Shut the fuck up shut up. I want to hear it. shut up <laughs> Hold on, hold on. This, this video deserves one good laugh for all the haters and the doubters and the people that actually thought the Snyder Cut wasn't going to happen. Like, it's just, it's just too funny. G give me a second. Moving beyond all the shit talking, let's actually get into what this cut really means. Okay, so obviously we get to see Zack Snyder's full vision. What was Zack Snyder's full vision? Flash and time travel was going to be a big part of the story. We know that the anti-life equation, we know Darkseid was going to feature heavily in Snyder's version of the story. We know that Martian Manhunter, which was revealed to be General Swanwick by uh, Snyder a while ago, we know that that was going to be a part of the story. Basically, the Seven Samurai meets Lord of the Rings meets a DC Comics movie. That's what we want to see. That's what we didn't get a chance to see with the theatrical version of Justice League and that is pretty much going to be in line with what, everything we've seen and heard. We're going to get more from Cyborg. Cyborg had a much bigger role in the theatrical cut of the movie. He was described by Snyder as being the heart of the movie. We're going to get to see more of that now. Being a six episode miniseries or whatever or being a four hour super long cut or whatever. Listen, I don't care if it's a TV series. I don't care if it's a film. I just want to see it. I told somebody on my live stream yesterday, I don't give a damn if they decide to put this on VHS. I don't give a damn if they decide to go retro and just put it on a disc or a cassette tape recorder or something. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't give a damn. I am going to be watching this shit anyways. I am going to be day one. HBO Max, they already had my money. Now, they have my commitment. They have my attention. They have my savings. I might have to start investing. I might have to buy stock in HBO Max because of this. At this point, HBO Max can have my babies. Like, seriously. I, I got impregnated by the news yesterday. I feel like they can have my babies. They can name my babies whatever the hell they want. I don't care if it's Booger, Sugar, Chinuana, Titty Conga. I don't care. They can name my baby whatever they want. My kids are yours. The big thing that I'm excited about this 
that nobody else is really talking about is the fact that this kind of opens the door for a whole bunch of things in DC that maybe we weren't going to get before, but because we pushed so hard for this, maybe now we can get them. Even Deathstroke, Joe Mangiello, I can't, pr I pronounced his name wrong, but Joe, you know, the guy who was cast to be Deathstroke, even he commented on the thing and he talked about an original post credit scene that we didn't get to see. Now you did see Deathstroke in the theatrical cut in a post credit scene where you saw him talking to Lex Luthor. Now do we get to see the prison break? Do we get to see Deathstroke breaking Lex Luthor out of prison? Do we get to see a scene with him and Batman? Does this put the Deathstroke movie that we heard was in development, does that put that back on the front burner? We know that Ben Affleck is going to be back. We know he walked away from being Batman for legitimate reasons. He confirmed this morning on Twitter that he will be back in 2021 for Zack Snyder's vision. And so that gets people curious, obviously. is Does this mean he's just here for the Snyder Cut? Or does this mean that he could possibly be Batman for other stuff? I don't want to get people's hopes up. I kind of doubt that. I do think that Ben doesn't really want to turn this into a full-time game. So much that they could do with this. We know that Green Lantern is coming to HBO Max. Okay, we know that there's a Blue Beetle movie and stuff like that that's been in development. Booster Gold, we've heard things about Lobos. Like, there's just, the world of DC is wide open at this point. We know there's a Justice League dark show or movie that's coming to HBO Max. Bro, we get to see Snyder's Vision. We get to see Dark Side. We get to see all the stuff that we really wanted to see. At the same time, it just kind of opens a path to other stuff that maybe we wouldn't get a chance to see, but now we get a chance to see. I am just beyond excited and happy. I said this in my live stream. This feeling is like when your team wins the Super Bowl or your favorite team in sports, like let, let's just say it's basketball. Let's just say your team wins a championship. The first time that my Miami Heat won the championship in 2006, that's exactly what this feeling is. It's just this ultimate feeling of vindication, of victory, of happiness, of excitement, of relief, because this has just been something that has meant so much to this fandom. And to be honest, guys, check the vibe, check the energy, check the passion in the building. This ignited the fan base. It brought us back together. It lit the fire that, to be honest, has been either doused or it's been like spread among different factions of the fandom ever since Justice League. Y'all have one big fire again, and it's all moving in the same direction, and I just... I love it. I'm so glad. Only Zack Snyder has the ability to ignite a fan base like this. Only him can inspire this level of passion, this level of interest in DC Comics. Like, I've never seen anything like it. Yesterday on Twitter, even today on Twitter, it reminds me of Comic-Con back in 2015 when BVS Comic-Con trailer dropped. Does this also mean that Iris is going to be in the movie? Remember, she was originally in Snyder's version of Justice League, right? She was supposed to appear Kiersey Clemens as Iris. So is that going to be a thing? I don't know. Like I said, it's all up in the air. Love Zach, love Debbie, love Jason, love Ben, love Henry, love anybody that showed support to this movement, anybody that joined us in this fight. Zach Snyder, after everything that man has been through, all the abuse and the disrespect that man has faced, this is one of the best feelings in the world. We're going to have this bitch next year in May, and it's going to be a beautiful thing. 2021 is already holding a massive dub because of this. Let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts on this news? What do you think about it? What are you excited for? What do you think that this could lead to now that we know that it's coming? Comment below and let me know. Like and subscribe to the Super Fan Show. And as always, if you like what you see, tell me how you feel. And stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.